The genetic basis of diseases is crucial in modern medicine, as genes are fundamental units of heredity that influence physical traits and biological functions. By exploring specific genes and their associated chromosomes, researchers can identify factors contributing to diseases. Concepts like single nucleotide polymorphism, SNP, are essential in understanding these genetic variations and their role in disease development. This slide provides a high-level overview of the importance of identifying genes that cause diseases, setting the stage for a deeper exploration of the topic. Genetics is the study of genes and heredity, examining how traits are passed from parents to offspring. Understanding genetics is essential for exploring human health and disease. Genes, the basic units of heredity, are made of DNA, which is found in chromosomes within the nucleus of cells. Genetic variations contribute to different traits and characteristics. Genetics plays a crucial role in medicine, helping identify diseases caused by genetic mutations. Understanding genetics can lead to advancements in personalized treatments and therapies. Chromosomes are the thread-like structures that contain our DNA. Each chromosome has specific regions called centromeres and telomeres, which are crucial for DNA replication and cell division. The DNA molecule has a double helix structure with two intertwined strands. These DNA strands are composed of nucleotides that hold the genetic information essential for life. The DNA strands are held together by specific base pair interactions, adenine pairs with thymine and cytosine pairs with guanine. This base pairing is critical for the accurate replication of DNA during cell division. The central dogma of molecular biology is a fundamental principle that describes the flow of genetic information in biological systems. It outlines the three key processes, DNA replication, transcription, and translation. DNA replication ensures that DNA makes copies of itself before cell division, preserving the genetic code. Transcription is the process where the information in DNA is used to produce messenger RNA, mRNA. Translation is when the mRNA is read by ribosomes to synthesize the corresponding proteins. Each of these steps is crucial for ensuring proteins are accurately produced, which is essential for cellular function and genetic regulation. Understanding the central dogma provides insights into gene expression and disease mechanisms. Protein synthesis is a fundamental process in all living organisms, involving two key steps, transcription and translation. Transcription is the first step, where DNA is used as a template to create messenger RNA, mRNA, which carries the genetic instructions from the nucleus to the cytoplasm. In the translation step, ribosomes read the mRNA sequence and use transfer RNA, tRNA, to bring the appropriate amino acids to the ribosome. The ribosome then assembles these amino acids into a polypeptide chain, forming a functional protein. Gene expression is tightly regulated to ensure proteins are made as needed. Proteins called transcription factors play a key role in this regulation, either enhancing or inhibiting the transcription of specific genes. The visual on this slide provides a clear illustration of the protein synthesis process, highlighting the key steps of transcription and translation, as well as the role of gene regulation. Genetic variations, specifically single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs, are the most common type of genetic variation. SNPs occur at a single base in the DNA sequence and can affect how genes function and produce proteins. Understanding SNPs is crucial for identifying genes associated with various diseases. Identifying disease-causing genes is a critical step in understanding and treating genetic disorders. We'll start by discussing gene mapping, the process of pinpointing specific regions on chromosomes linked to diseases. Next, we'll look at how single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs, can serve as markers for disease susceptibility. Finally, we'll cover functional studies that demonstrate the real-world impact of identified gene mutations on health. Throughout, we'll see how these techniques allow us to uncover the genetic underpinnings of complex diseases. Monogenic disorders are caused by mutations in a single gene, while polygenic disorders involve multiple genes interacting with environmental factors. Monogenic disorders often follow clear Mendelian inheritance patterns, making them more predictable. Polygenic disorders exhibit complex inheritance and are harder to predict. Examples of monogenic disorders include cystic fibrosis and sickle cell anemia. 
Examples of polygenic disorders include heart disease and diabetes. Understanding the differences between monogenic and polygenic disorders is crucial for accurate diagnosis and effective treatment approaches. Monogenic disorders typically have clear genetic causes, while polygenic disorders are influenced by a variety of genetic and environmental factors. The genotype refers to the full set of genetic information an organism inherits from its parents. This includes all the genes and alleles that make up the organism's unique genetic makeup. The genotype can influence the physical traits, behaviors, and other characteristics that make up the organism's phenotype. However, the phenotype is not just determined by the genotype. Environmental factors also play a crucial role in shaping the observable expression of the genes. It's important to understand both the genotype and phenotype to fully grasp how genetics and the environment interact to produce the diversity of living organisms. Monogenic disorders are caused by mutations in a single gene, while polygenic disorders involve multiple genes interacting with environmental factors. Monogenic disorders often follow clear Mendelian inheritance patterns, making them more predictable. Polygenic disorders exhibit complex inheritance and are harder to predict. Examples of monogenic disorders include cystic fibrosis and sickle cell anemia. Examples of polygenic disorders include heart disease and diabetes. Understanding the differences between monogenic and polygenic disorders is crucial for accurate diagnosis and effective treatment approaches. Monogenic disorders typically have clear genetic causes, while polygenic disorders are influenced by a variety of genetic and environmental factors. Mendelian inheritance is the fundamental basis for understanding how traits are passed from parents to offspring. It describes the key principles of dominant and recessive traits, as well as the concepts of homozygous and heterozygous genotypes. Dominant traits appear in offspring even if inherited from just one parent. Recessive traits only manifest when inherited from both parents. Homozygous individuals have identical alleles, while heterozygous have different alleles. Genotype refers to the genetic makeup, while phenotype is the observable physical trait. Multifactorial traits are influenced by multiple genes and environmental factors. Conditions like heart disease and diabetes exemplify this complexity. Significant research is required to unravel the etiology of these complex disorders. Common complex disorders include schizophrenia, obesity, and asthma. These conditions demonstrate varying degrees of genetic predisposition and environmental triggers. Studying complex disorders helps in developing targeted interventions. Researchers utilize approaches like genome-wide association studies, GWES, to identify genetic variants that contribute to complex traits. This leads to better understandings of disease mechanisms. Genetic mapping helps us identify the location of genes on chromosomes, which is crucial information for understanding how genes influence traits and diseases. Linkage analysis explores the relationship between genes and specific traits, allowing us to understand the genetic basis of inherited conditions. By studying families with inherited conditions, researchers can map the genetic variations that contribute to those conditions. The insights gained from genetic mapping and linkage analysis are paving the way for targeted treatments and personalized medicine, where therapies can be tailored to an individual's genetic profile. These powerful tools are essential for advancing our understanding of the human genome and developing more effective, personalized approaches to healthcare. Genome-wide association studies, or GWES, are a powerful approach to analyze genetic variations across diverse human populations. The goal of GWES is to identify associations between specific genetic markers, known as SNPs, and various traits or diseases. By studying large cohorts of people, GWES allows researchers to pinpoint genetic risk factors for complex diseases. This research supports advancements in personalized medicine and risk assessment, as it enhances our understanding of the genetic underpinnings of diseases. GWES plays a crucial role in advancing precision medicine and informing more effective treatment strategies. Ultimately, GWES expands our knowledge of human genetics and the complex interplay between genes and health. Next Generation Sequencing, NGS, is a powerful technology that allows us to rapidly sequence entire genomes. 
NGS generates massive amounts of sequencing data that can be effectively analyzed using advanced bioinformatics tools. This technology is essential in many fields, including disease research, personalized medicine, and genomics. Continued advancements in NGS will revolutionize our understanding of genetics and disease, unlocking new insights and possibilities. The futuristic laboratory image on this slide evokes the innovative and cutting-edge nature of these next-generation sequencing technologies. Whole Genome Sequencing, WGS, analyzes the complete DNA sequence of an organism, providing a comprehensive view of genetic variation. WGS identifies all types of genetic variants, including single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs, and structural changes. Exome sequencing focuses on the coding regions of genes, known as exomes. This targeted approach reduces sequencing costs and data complexity. Exome sequencing primarily identifies mutations that affect protein function. Both WGS and exome sequencing play critical roles in personalized medicine, aiding in diagnosing genetic disorders and understanding complex diseases. These technologies are continuously evolving, refining our understanding of genetics. Bioinformatics is the field that combines biology and computational tools to analyze complex biological data. Bioinformatics supports data analysis, genomic research, collaborative studies, and the use of visualization tools to interpret genetic data. Analyzing large biological datasets requires advanced computational methods and tools. Collaboration among researchers in different fields enhances our understanding of genetics and improves data interpretation. Visualization tools make genetic data more accessible and actionable, helping researchers draw insights from the information. Bioinformatics is a critical field that enables groundbreaking discoveries in biology and medicine. Gene annotation is the process of identifying the locations and functions of genes within a genome. This is crucial for interpreting genomic data accurately. Databases like Ensemble and GenBank are essential repositories of genomic information. They provide researchers access to gene sequences, variations, and functions, enabling advancements in genetic research. Integrating data from multiple databases enhances genetic analysis by providing a more comprehensive understanding of gene functions. This collaboration accelerates discoveries related to gene-based diseases. Functional genomics is the study of gene functions and how they interact within biological systems. It explores how genes regulate cellular processes and contribute to the traits of an organism. Understanding these gene interactions is crucial for identifying genes that cause diseases. Epigenetics focuses on heritable changes in gene expression that don't involve changes to the DNA sequence itself. Epigenetics reveals how environmental factors can influence gene activity, impacting health and development, functional genomics, and epigenetics work together to provide insights into complex genetic phenomena. Animal models are crucial for understanding genetic diseases and their underlying mechanisms. They allow researchers to observe disease processes in controlled environments, which is not possible in human studies. Animal models, particularly mice and zebrafish, are widely used due to their genetic similarities to humans. These models help test potential therapies before moving to human clinical trials, accelerating the development of new treatments. Transgenic models contain modified genes to study specific genetic functions, while knockout models have genes intentionally deleted to observe effects on development and health. Each type of animal model serves unique purposes in advancing our understanding of genetic diseases. Genetic research offers great potential, but also raises important ethical considerations we must address. Informed consent is critical. Participants must fully understand how their data will be used and agree to it. Genetic data is highly sensitive, so ensuring privacy, anonymity, and data security is paramount. We must strive for equity and access to genetic therapies and discoveries, not just benefits for the wealthy. Genetic information also has the potential to lead to discrimination, so we need robust safeguards to protect individuals. Overall, as we advance genetic research, we have a responsibility to uphold ethical principles and protect the rights and well-being of research participants. Personalized medicine is an exciting new approach that tailors treatments to individual patients based on their unique genetic makeup. By understanding how a person's genes affect their response to drugs, 
we can optimize dosages and minimize side effects. Pharmacogenomics is the study of how genes influence drug metabolism. This knowledge helps us develop more effective treatments for various conditions. Personalized medicine is revolutionizing healthcare, enabling targeted therapies for complex diseases like cancer and autoimmune disorders. This precision approach leads to better patient outcomes and enhances overall health and well-being. Genetic counseling is a vital service that helps individuals and families understand their genetic risks and implications. Counselors provide personalized information based on the family's unique medical history and genetic background. Screening tests can identify genetic disorders before symptoms appear, allowing for early intervention and better management. Early detection through screening is crucial, as it can lead to more effective treatment options and improved outcomes. Genetic counseling empowers patients to make informed decisions about testing and treatment, reducing anxiety, and enabling them to plan for the future with greater confidence. The combination of genetic counseling and screening is essential for individuals and families to navigate complex genetic health considerations. CRISPR-Cas9 is a revolutionary gene editing tool that allows us to precisely modify genetic material. This technology has immense potential in treating various genetic disorders by correcting faulty genes. Gene therapy applications are being developed to address diseases like cystic fibrosis, aiming to effectively correct the underlying genetic issues. Advances in genomics are enabling personalized medicine, where treatments can be tailored to an individual's unique genetic profile. This approach enhances treatment efficacy and reduces side effects compared to one-size-fits-all solutions. These advancements in genetic therapies promise significant improvements in treatment outcomes and offer hope for previously untreatable genetic conditions. Genetic research is advancing rapidly, but this poses significant challenges in managing and analyzing the vast amounts of genomic data being generated. Researchers need to continuously develop their bioinformatics skills to keep up with the evolving tools and techniques required to work with these large datasets effectively. Genetic modifications raise important ethical concerns that need to be carefully considered. Transparency in research is crucial to maintain public trust. As technologies continue to evolve, guidelines and regulations around genetic research must also adapt to ensure moral responsibility and address the ethical implications. Genetic factors are crucial for understanding diseases. Identifying genes provides valuable insights that can enhance our approach to treatment. Single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs, offer key information about genetic variations, which can influence an individual's susceptibility to certain diseases. Advancements in technologies like genome-wide association studies, GWES, and next-generation sequencing are transforming genetic research, opening up new avenues for personalized medicine. Continued exploration and understanding of genetics, including gene-environment interactions, is essential for advancing disease prevention and treatment.